In this tutorial, we're going to start with a simple spreadsheet containing a bunch of addresses. And we're going to turn it into a map with each address plotted as a marker. We're going to use our tool called Atlas for this. There's a link to it in the video description. So let's get started and sign up. Once we're in, we'll create a map. Then let's click Import CSV. Now quick note, a CSV is just a universal format for spreadsheets. Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, Apple Numbers, they can all export to CSV. Now we can see Atlas has some requirements for our CSV. It must have an address or latitude and longitude, and we'll need six columns in this order. So let's turn our attention to the spreadsheet and let's format it to match what we saw in Atlas. Then let's export our CSV. So since we're in Microsoft Excel, we'll go File, Save As, and we'll choose CSV. Now back in Atlas, we can upload our CSV. And yes, we have a header row, so let's check that. And boom, Atlas has magically mapped our addresses. Now, let's give our map a name. Sweet, okay, now here's where it gets fun. We can start to customize the style of the map. So let's start with markers. We'll make them black and change the shape, border, and you know what, let's choose an icon. This looks appropriate. Nice. Now let's style the map. So Atlas has a few themes we can choose from. But if you want a wider selection, you can go to Snazzy Maps. Snazzy Maps has thousands of themes you can choose from. I have one that I like and I'm going to add it here. Perfect, this is looking really good. Now let's go back to build and if we'd like, we can add notes to a marker. We can also add images. And the markers modal window can be completely customized too. So I'm gonna quickly do that. If we go to publish, we can also add a directions button that links with Google Maps. We can also add a sidebar with search. But for now, I'm gonna leave that off this map. Okay, there's one more thing I wanna show. Let's go back to build. We can also put markers into groups and we can give these groups custom styles. Nice. Okay, I think that's good for now. Whenever we're ready, we can publish our map. There are three options. We can embed it on a website, we can link to it, or we can save our map as an image. And there we go. We took a spreadsheet with addresses and we made a map with it. If you'd like to try Atlas, there is a link to it in the video description. In any case, I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.